Hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, where today we're gonna find out where we are. I mean, we already know it's the Fallen Arm, but uh, we're also gonna see what that is. I bet we already know. Fiora. <sighs> Fiora. She's still breathing. Wake up. <sighs> Come on. Wake up. <sighs> she needs water. All right, let's go find some fresh water. I sure hope we're already pointed straight at it. Hard quest is hard. Fiora, you're awake. Um, do you remember? My name is Sh I can't believe it. My first kiss. You do remember me, Fiora. Of course I do, Shulk. I never forgot you or the others. Then... why? Because... I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to call out, but I couldn't. What do you mean? When it happened. When Colony 9 was attacked by the Mechon. Mechon's claw ripped through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound, no light, no pain. When I came round, I had the body of a machine. And it felt like there was someone inside me. Someone else? The one who was controlling the Mechon you were in? Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. I was there all the time. Except oh, I had no control over my body, and I couldn't talk. That's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately, but you didn't hear me. 
Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. But... the person inside you... Do you know who it was? No. I heard her voice when she spoke, but I didn't know what she was thinking. There was something she urgently needed to do. I understood that much. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she's sleeping. Or maybe she's trapped like I was. I hope she stays trapped. Hijacking your body, treating it like it's her own. I... I guess... I say good riddance. And let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk? I don't think she's totally to blame. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body. But I didn't hate her for it. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Really? Yeah. And she did everything she could to protect you. So, back when we were fighting... Against Egu, she knew what I wanted to do, and did it for me. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome back, Fiora. I'm glad to be here. What do we do now? We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. Everyone's gonna be surprised when they see you. Everyone being? Ryan, Dunban, and there are a few others we met along the way. Sharla, Ricky, and Melia. I just know you're gonna like them. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. Yeah. But nothing's gonna separate us now. Come on, let's start searching. All right, we've got our seventh and final party member. So just going to take a quick look over this way, even though I know for a fact there's nothing of particular value over here. I don't know why I'm going this way, but I'm already most of the way there, so I'm not going to stop. Yeah. Just more beach. Some crabbles. Ooh, while well, we've got Fiora. Oh, wow. Already starting at the purple puffy cloud with Shulk. That's impressive. I could have sworn they started lower. And she's already got skill links with people she's never even met. Good job, Fiora. Uh, agility up is nice. Agility up is nice. Reduced weight is good. Shame Fiora can never get this. Yeah, let's give her some more defenses. Um, for now, she's kind of tanky, certainly more so than Shulk, so we're giving her the aggro bonus. And there we go. 
That ought to do well. Uh, she's definitely got arts. Let's see, what is it we want to upgrade? We want to upgrade... Well, Double Blade, if memory serves, is her best damaging art for now. Uh, we're going to want Double Wind. It's certainly more helpful than Ether Drain. At least at the moment. Shut down... Not particularly useful unless you're fighting Mechon. And... Yeah, this will do fine for now. It's not a good idea to have two auras, but we don't really have much value to replace it with. And Spear Blade is crazy good damage if enemies are toppled, which unfortunately they're not going to be anytime soon, but... Still, might as well just boost things up. Get her a nice quick day, or not days, break art. Her day's art is rather slow. But it's something. Yeah, let's do this for now, because she's going to be tanking instead of Shulk. And then we can also do this for later. And we're going to want second gear updated, or updated, upgraded eventually. But if she's tanking, we want paralysis better. Because paralysis helps keep her alive, and then we can put whatever's left in second gear. Uh, Shulk, do you have anything? I guess more buster, really. Well, guess we're done. So, we're also going to come this way on Wreckage Beach, because A, that's where we have to go, and B, I'm pretty sure there's another location towards the end here. Also, if you're going to be farming AP before very late game, these Flamy are where to do it. There's a big clump of them. Where you can fight, like, five all in one go. And it's pretty easy to just AoE them down. And I can't well leave this collectible uncollected. Oh, that reminds me. Collectibles. We've got some to put in places. Oh good, we got enough art core coils. Hopefully we don't need any more locust springs. I don't think we need any of these, so actually we might be good on Galahad Fortress collectibles. I wasn't aware we got that many art core coils. I must have... Not been paying enough attention. That's not new. There are plenty of times when I don't pay attention to collectibles. I just grab them and then don't even look at the little box. Yeah, right here. Bunch of Flamie all at once. And if you're of an appropriate level, you can take them all out with AoEs. Be leveled down for it so you get more arts points out of it. Skill points, too. Apparently, we need five more of these. Because one's going in the Collectopedia. And there's a tiny little inlet over here. That often has a collectible or two. On the subject of poisonous coral... One time I was diving in Maui at a spot where it was like right at the continent, well, not continental shelf because Hawaii's an island, but right at the shelf where the bottom just drops off precipitously. You go from 
having like 30 foot deep water to question mark foot deep water. Uh, there was a basically like a wall of coral behind me. In front of me, there was a big school of, well, I guess you don't call it a school, but a lot of reef sharks just swimming in the open water. Small guys, like maybe two, three feet long, uh, mostly black tip reef sharks. It was a really neat sight, and while I was watching it, I wasn't paying attention and ended up drifting a little bit backwards and uh, bonked my elbow on the coral behind me. Never do that, ever. It, it was burning mildly for like two weeks after that. So yeah, uh, don't don't scrape your elbow on coral is the lesson here. That's the takeaway. Don't do it. If you ever feel like scraping your elbow on coral, just remember to don't. So you say everyone let's go, but it's just Fiora. Uh, Fiora, you say it's wonderful to be with everyone, but again, everyone here is just Shulk. There's only two of you here. Forgot to check whether we could put any gems on Fiora's equipment. I don't think we can for her starter equipment. But I do need to check. Oh good, a silver antle fiber. We're gonna need way too many of those. Like, way too many. Yeah, they need eight, and then there's another quest that needs like three or five. Uh, equipment is under change equipment. Fancy that. Okay, yeah, we can't apply additional gems to her armor, but we can for her weapons. Might as well slap some agility up in there. Agility up never hurts, and is in fact the best for physical characters. So there is no reason to not equip it. Why does that side have no path up, but this one does? I want that collectible. And sure, I could have climbed up, but I expected there might be a collectible on this path, because I didn't pay enough attention earlier. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm not a fan of Fiora's jumping noises. <laughs> Shulk's is fine. Fiora's just... Sounds like she's trying to emulate Shulk's, and it does not work. Shulk! Fiora! What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit... strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. I wonder what happened. After the fortress. Where did the others all end up? The Monado's light is fluctuating. That Mekon really messed it up. But still... I have to protect Fiora. Shulk. Can't you sleep? Sorry. Did I wake you? No. It's okay. 
I slept really well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No thanks, but I'd like some water. Okay. You should eat, even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> no, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. I just run on water. Don't worry. <sighs> I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. You can leave me. It's okay. What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mekon body, so I should live here on Makonis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fury you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Mm, I guess not. Uh. Mekon! No! Not now! Shulk! Let me... Fiora! Right. Come on, Manada. Don't let me down. The Monado bends to your will. No! I won't let you take her from me! This time, I will protect Fiora! Yes! The Monado's light! I can do this! Alright, time to solo a bunch of Mechahon. Unfortunately, I can't topple them, only break. I actually would be able to topple them if I did a specific uh, side quest chain. Why did- I oh, right, I used Shadow Eye because it makes this do 50% more damage. Even if it's from the front, it's still a physical art. And if I can get these two in a tight line, which it looks like they don't want me to. Uh, yeah, let's just buster it. The Monado. It worked, but... I feel... worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is... What's that sound? Uh-oh. No! We're surrounded! Oh. Where are we? You're up, then. Sharla! What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ryan. Um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me, back there. 
Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Rhine I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the Colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Mm. Friends and family. Alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong. We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally. That's the Rhine I know. Um, back there. Were you talking about that guy, Gado? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know... Seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> Ryan. Do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. Indeed, we had better. So I'm guessing that Raging Stalwart achievement means that Ryan just finished his... yeah. Well, agility's the best one of those. Grabbing collectibles. Checking this ether gear. It's nice getting level 4 crystals now. Gives us access to level 5 gems. At least in Potentia. And this button is pre-pressed, so... We just get to climb on up. There's gonna be a quest item down here later. It's a shame it doesn't show up yet. Because it's annoying to get back here. And we can only go so far on this here platform. So I'm going to see if we can't get this collectible. There's a chance that it won't let us. Yeah. I wanted it. What's that sound? Someone's in a fight. Up ahead. Shulk! Ryan! I got your back! We'll turn them into scrap! Right!
Um, excuse me, why are you making me play as Ryan? No. No. I mean, it looks to me like Shulk would have been just fine on his own here. And now we can actually... Whoops, that was Buster. I meant to use Enchant to help Ryan out. Of course it had to move. If we actually got that backslash on the back, Good it probably would have died. I knew you'd make it, Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan! Ryan, it's you! Fiora! She remembers us! Yeah. She's been through a lot. I can see. If only we could find Dunbar. Yeah, he'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry when no one's watching. Yep. He's always been like that. He's a big softy, but he hates anyone seeing it. I never knew. No, I don't believe it. Take it easy. Oh, I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go, Shulk. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. <laughs> I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. I can see. Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. Yes, you are. You are here for something. Shulk's not a tank. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get. You ain't got eyes in the back of your head. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that undependable before? Take it as a compliment. Ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> right, let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? Yeah, wouldn't miss it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is kick Ryan out of the party. Mostly because he and Shulk are already best friends and we can't have them become any better friends. Um, I believe there's a button that we need to press over here so we can get back up to... Oh, I guess we can't press it yet. Oh well. Well, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Join us next time when we're going to go through there and see if we can find Dunban so that we can see him crying. See you then, friends. <laughs>